so we all know that servicing a rotor head can sometimes be a pain. Getting a grip off is the easy part. But how on earth are we going to get that other bolt off the spindle? Any ideas? Do not let yourself be a victim of this crime. Vice grips and pliers can damage and mar the spindle here. Oh, the horror, the pain. Oh my goodness, this is no good. No, no, no. Now that the spindle has been damaged and the ridges are so profound, they extrude past the spindle. How do we plan on getting the radial bearing of the grip back onto the spindle? Hmm, doesn't seem like it's going to work out. But wait, you can grab a hammer and hit it. No, 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 this is not what we want to do. Are you tired of wrenching down so hard that you hurt your back in the process? <laughs> if this is you, then we have a solution for you. Hello everybody, how's it going? Bobby Watts here, mechanical product developer for Chimp Systems. Today we've got a very special tool for you, and I'd like to share it with you all. So since the beginning of time, when RC helicopters were first around on the planet, we've always had an issue. We've always had the problem whenever you crash or whenever you need to check your spindle, you've never been able to get both bolts out of the spindle without scratching it or marring it or whatnot. Usually I can remember going to buy two or three spindles from the hobby shop because I know that at some point in time me and a big pair of vice grips would just destroy the spindle. Today we've got a solution for you. I give you Grippy. Grippy is a very special tool that was made this past year. I've always had one in my toolbox, just a piece of metal with a one-way bearing in there, and the one-way bearing would go on the shaft and remove it, but never until now have we created a tool that's specifically named and made applicable for this certain operation. So what you do when it's time to remove your spindle, for instance, you crack one open, you unscrew one bolt, you remove the blade grip, now it's time for that dreaded second one. Here's where Grippy comes in. As you can see here, we have four sizes. I'm gonna grab the eight millimeter grippy. Here's my eight millimeter spindle. Grippy, grippy simply slips over the spindle. The one way bearing can uh, lock one way and freewheel the other way. You make sure it's going the correct way. You lock it the correct way and you can twist your other bolt off pretty much as hard as you care for and you can get it off. And grippy will not damage or mar your spindle in any way. Grippy will not slippy. So now, it's time to tell you about the different sizes that we have of gripping. So here as demonstrated before, the blue is 8. Most helicopters out there, 50 size, 90 size, they use an 8 millimeter spindle. So we have a single 8 millimeter grippy, which is blue. We also have a single 10 grippy, mostly used for T-Rex 700 helicopters, uh, bigger helicopters that may come out later. Most 9, 90 size helicopters will use a grippy 10. And for those of you out there who seem a little bit adventurous, you know, you like to go a little bit small, a little bit big, we made some duos for you. So I give you the duo grippy. This one has a 10 and an 8 in it. So if you're a kind of guy who flies a 50 and a 90, you may want to look at this guy, the duo grippy, 10 and 8. And we didn't leave you micro pilots out there, because even though the spindle's quite small, you really can't grab it any other way. So we made the Duo Grippy Nano, which is a nice gold color for you. It has a 4mm and a 6mm one-way bearing in here. The 6mm will go anywhere from certain micros, heck, even to a Raptor 50. The 4s are obviously for all your micro spindles. Ah, uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you notice here, we have the head block assembly ready to be disassembled. Using the Grippy. First, we remove the blade grip discard like so. Now if you'll notice we have a grippy installed on the spindle on the right side. Grippy's ready for action. Here we go. We begin by loosening the blade bolt on the other side which is normally impossible only by the use of a vice grip. Here we go. Ah, now we have it. Perfectly removed spindle assembly. Notice here we remove the spindle from the head block. No damage. Perfect condition. Roll test. Looking great. Still not convinced you should buy a grippy? Let's review. Number one. Tough ergonomic handle. Knurled. Non-slip surface. Extra tough tool. Two. 
Very nice, lifelong carrying case, toolbox friendly, keeps the tool protected and in like new condition forever. Very nice, and made in the USA, quality. So thank you all for watching our infomercial on Grippy. Hopefully, in the near future, Grippy will become a permanent resident of your toolbox, as he already has become with me. I, for one, has many Grippy in my toolbox, just in case any of you pilots out there may need one at a fun fly or whatnot. So I would invite you all to visit our website at www.chimpsystems.com. There you can find out the latest information on future products, things that we're working on, and things that we're going to introduce into the market. As a look forward, I'd like to introduce you guys to the Dalcon. Anyone who's seen my XFC Nightfly from 2010 or Burt Kammer and mine's tandem Nightfly from Urza 2010 may have experienced what the Dalcon can do. Dalcon can light up to eight channels at any certain time in your music. You don't need an external battery, you don't need a solder, and we give you a computer program where you can sit there and physically program your lights already to the music before you even go fly. That way when it's time for you to fly in front of a big crowd and you to put on a show, you can do your very, very best with Dalcon. So for now we've got Grippy, Dalcon coming next, Bobby Watts from Chim Systems signing off. Grippy. Creepy, stick it in your hand and twisty. Yeah, great. <laughs>